Now, one of the reasons you are unable to heal from narcissistic abuse and move on with your life is because you are unable to clearly define the pain that you are experiencing. When you're healing from narcissistic abuse, especially in the beginning, you're trying to find out what's going on inside of you. And now people will often tell you that you have a broken heart because of the toxic relationship. Now, the problem with this is how do you fix a broken heart? And many people will tell you, well, it just takes time. Okay, how much time? You've got a life to get on with. Some people will go on as far to, as to tell you that narcissistic abuse has broken your spirit. Now, I don't believe that anything can break your spirit, but it can feel that way. But again, the same problem exists. How do you begin to fix a broken spirit? Where do you even start? You see, I believe that these uh, solutions out there cause more confusion and more damage as you sit in this place of hopelessness not knowing where to even begin. So I want to share with you something that narcissistic abuse destroys in your life, but that you have the power to rebuild layer by layer. This thing that I'm talking about is your narrative in this world. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Now, before I get on with this message, I want to let you know that I do take one-on-one -on -one appointments. In the description box, you will find direct access to my calendar. Now, just like you, I have suffered from the pain and the anger and the frustration of narcissistic abuse and trying to figure out what's going on inside of me. Why am I changing? Why am I not the same person that I used to be? Now, all the while trying to figure out where this hurt and this pain and this frustration was coming from, I was ignoring the reality of what had just taken place. And what had taken place is that my narrative of the world had been shattered, destroyed by narcissistic abuse. If I were to be completely honest, the narrative that I had was wavering and on its way to self-destruction anyways. It just took narcissistic abuse to be that final straw that broke. Boom. And I was shattered, laid out. My perception of the world and of myself was demolished. And now this is what a narrative is, by the way. We all have narratives. They are one of the most, if not the most important thing in your life. Your narrative is not only your perception of the world around you, but it's your self-perception. It's how you see yourself in relation to the world around you. And it's important to understand that you have been given a narrative in life rather than you forming and creating and owning your own narrative, which is by the end of this video where we want to be. So the narrative that you have been giving and living up to the point of this experience coming out of narcissistic abuse, the narrative began at home. You were told how to treat your family and who your family was and how to honor your mom and dad and love them, right? And then in school, public education system, you were told what type of grades you have to have in order to become successful. Go to college and become something great. And if you don't, uh, well, good luck to you, right? You were raised up possibly going to church and how you should get along in this world with other people and your neighbor, right? Treat people the way you want to be treated. And this is how you form your narrative. Narratives are powerful. This is how you see the world and how you see your role and yourself in this world. And now narcissistic abuse comes along, boom, smashes you. Why? Because you're living according to your narrative. You're being who you believed you were in the world that you believed the world was. Narcissistic abuse shattered that. Boom, and you're on the ground. The narrative that has been wavering in your life anyways has finally been destroyed. And as you're snapping out of it, full of hurt and pain and frustration, the real frustration is that you realize nothing in the world works according to how you were living in your life. You realize that the way in which you're supposed to view and honor your family and your mom and dad, well, that doesn't make sense because your dad was never even there in your life or your mom was off doing whatever. So why are you working to honor and love them in any particular way when they weren't even there for you? That doesn't make sense. As far as the education system, why do you have to get these certain grades in order to be somebody? Listen, I still 
chuckle on the inside when I receive comments now on this channel saying, what qualifications do you have to talk about narcissism? Well, let me tell you, now as I am rewriting my own personal narrative, what qualifications do I need to share my personal experiences? What qualifications do I need to help people with a genuine passion to see people heal and grow? I don't need qualifications according to a narrative that was force-fed to me while I was growing up. How about the narratives of how you treat people and get along with people in this world, right? Treat people the way you want to be treated. The golden rule, the Christianese and the church stuff. Well, listen, what I discovered, I don't know about you, but this is what I discovered, right? When, when you treat people the way you want to be treated, I discovered that I was never treated the way I wanted to be treated. I was just giving and giving and giving. And this is what happens in narcissistic relationships when you deal with narcissistic abuse. You're doing that. You're giving and you're doing and you're loving and you're not getting anything in return. And this is that final straw that shatters your narrative. All right. Now, now that we understand what narratives are, we need to understand how important they are. They are everything, by the way. It is the most, if not one of the most important things in your world. Again, it's how you see the world and how you see yourself. Everybody has a narrative. Narcissists, as a matter of fact, live by their narratives. They understand this principle very well. The problem with narcissists is that they have no integrity with their narrative. They're all narrative. Every time they join a new relationship, they're making a new narrative that they're the best over here, or the best over there. They understand the concept of controlling a narrative of how they want people to see them who they are, and how they perceive the people around them. But they lack the integrity. This is why their narrative changes so much. You, on the other hand, you're in a prime spot being broken down, having your narrative shattered in this life. You now get to rebuild your narrative, not by jumping from relationship to relationship like narcissists, but by spending time one-on-one -on -one with sessions with people like me who want to help you out watching videos you rebuild the narrative of the world that you now perceive the truths that you have now experienced and you build your narrative of who you are and the reality of the world around you you make all the necessary changes and now it doesn't stop there once you build your narrative you now since it's not being force fed to you since you're choosing to view the world and yourself in a certain way you now get to take complete ownership of your narrative as you build it and this is the most important thing with you taking ownership you now get to take your integrity that you want to have in your life and back up your narrative you live your narrative with integrity this means that if you decide that you are going to be a good christian person then you live that narrative out and you don't even associate yourself with evil you don't even get in those places where you're drinking and partying and sexing or whatever you're doing you stay out of that stuff this is how you own your narrative. And when you own your narrative, you have a right to defend your narrative. When people accuse you because you're still in a narcissistic world, people are still going to attack you. Whether or not you have a good narrative, whether or not you own your narrative, you're going to be attacked in this world. But when you own your narrative, you get to fight it off right away. You're a liar. You're just, you're, you're a liar. You just get to Call these things out in the integrity of your narrative. But you can only do this when you own your narrative. So to wrap this up, part of the pain, the biggest part of the pain is you needing to allow that old narrative of what you thought you were supposed to be and how the world worked, allow it to collapse and start to rebuild your new life. Rebuild your narrative. Rediscover yourself, your purpose, your visions, your goals, who you are. Find integrity behind the new narrative you're building and own your narrative. Own it with integrity and you will not be touched by narcissism again. Sure, they'll attack you, but you'll call it out right away because you own your narrative. Listen, I want to be a part of your healing journey. Down below, you can find access to one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. We can do FaceTime, WhatsApp, telephone call. It's all down in the description box. Additionally, every Monday night is Royal We Live Chat. Saturday morning is Royal We Fellowship. You'll find links down below. Follow me on Instagram at Join the Royal We, and I'll be back with more videos for you right here on the Royal We.